everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is 8 Minutes with Chef Mel. I am Chef Mel and I own a small food business here in Winchester, Massachusetts. I have a home bakery and also a food vendor bike that I have on the road in the warmer months and I do a lot of classes for junior chefs and also for adults and a number of other things. But today I'm actually joined here um, with some of my favorite junior chefs, Katie and Caroline, and we are going to play a game. So. Um, I explained the game a little bit before, but for the people in TV land, we'll explain it again. This game is called Eat It, Compost It, or Wear It to School. Or Wear It to School. So these guys are going to have three different food items presented to them. You each here have three cards. You. When I tell you the first food, you will have to decide which card to play. So, you're going to have to think about, once you play a card, you're only going to have two left. Now, when I give you guys the last item, it's going to, by default, you're going to have to only one card left to play, right? So you've got to think really hard about how you might want to play the game. Sort of like those reality shows on TV when they play those games, okay? So do you guys have any questions about the game before we get started? No. No? no? Okay. Let me see here. Your first item is broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open these for you guys. You can't taste them, but you can look at them. And you can kind of see, I'm going to hold these up for the people at home. <laughs> and I'll kind of spread them out for you. You can touch <laughs> them. You can smell them. You just can't taste them. Oh. <laughs> it has an odd scent. It has yeah. an odd scent. It smells Definitely like broccoli. Like like it, I, they're kind of, they're, I think they're kind of pretty. Although I know it's a little bit different when you're faced with the idea of maybe eating them. Yeah. Now, people put sprouts on. Do you guys know? Have you seen them anywhere? Um, mm. I'm pretty sure I have seen them. Salads? The, yeah, I've seen them on my seaweed salad one. Okay. On your seaweed salad? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. All right. So, now you guys have to think. Mm. You have to play one of your cards. Hmm. Oh, wear it. Ooh. She's going to wear it. make a good bird nest hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a I good answer. I too. All right. And how would you wear yours? Like, I'd probably wear it, like, as a scarf. A scarf. That like, sounds good. You could also maybe... Um, put them mix, in the hair. Yeah. I think that that would be kind of cool. So, I think... All right. That's a pretty respectable <laughs> answer. Here we go. All right. You guys ready for the next item? Yeah. Got two yes. cards left mm. and two items <laughs> left. So I know it's your first time playing the game. I'll give you a little bit of a warning. Sometimes there's like a monkey wrench, you know, huh? like like in any of the reality shows. Like you don't know what's under here, what's coming next, right? So you got to imagine there's probably at some point going to be a surprise, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have under here. Oof. Okay. Oh, dear. We have pig's feet. Oh! <laughs> pig's feet. Now, I'm going to put these here for you guys to pick them up and look at them. And while you think about that, um, I can share with you a little bit about pig's feet. So, pig's feet are actually very popular in a number of different countries. Um, Mexico, Brazil, um, actually Hawaii makes a lot of pig's feet dishes, and a lot of southern states make a lot of pig's feet dishes. So it's a real treat for some people, although if you've never had them before, it sometimes does get kind of a, a shocking reaction. So yeah. Yeah. now you need to think. Now, let me before you play your cards, let me just, uh. I don't want to sway you, okay, but I, I want to, I want you to be strategic here because is this the craziest thing I'm going to show you? I don't, I don't know. know. Right? I don't know. Is there something crazier out there than pig's feet? Maybe. Is it under here? Maybe. I, I can't tell you that. So now you need to decide. You see, 
is something really crazy under here? And then maybe you're only left with the edict card versus the compost card. I don't know. There could be a chocolate truffle under here. Or it could be something totally wild and crazy. I don't know. So you've you got to go with your gut. plain? Nope. You can cook them up in a dish. There's all kinds oh. of recipes. People do a lot of things with pig's feet. Yeah. I'm going to compost. You're going to compost it? Okay. I'm going to eat it. <gasps> oh! She's so brave! <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> 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 bonus prize. <laughs> um, now, having not had them before, how do you think you would prepare them if you just had to take a guess? I'd fry them. Fry them! I don't have to taste it. <laughs> All right, that's a very legitimate answer. <clears throat> and very brave. Very brave. So... Uh, but I will say, there are, like I said, there's recipes that have, like, pineapple and all kinds of things. So I haven't had them, but I would try them once. Would you try them once if yeah. somebody, like, cooked them up? <laughs> I would try them once, sure. All right, we're down to our last item here. Oh, I'm so nervous. So whatever yeah, this item is, truffle. if it's right. a chocolate truffle, you don't get to eat it because your only card <laughs> left is composted. it. <laughs> yeah. would be so sad. Oh, yeah. And whatever's under here, you have to eat it. So it could be... I don't even know. It could be some, It could be an eel under here, and you would be stuck with the edict card. So here we go, the big reveal. What? Dragon oh, fruit. it's dragon fruit. It is a dragon fruit, yeah. So that's not too shabby. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have to put the dragon yeah. fruit in the compost, but you would actually get to eat the dragon fruit. Yay. So I'm actually going to give this to you guys to share. All right, yeah, and when you get home, weird. you can cut that open. All right, and you can actually... Now, have you had dragon fruit before? Um, so when you cut that open, there has, it's just like a white flesh and little black spots, little black seeds. It is, it's really, really beautiful, and it's very, very delicious. And you can eat it. You just cut it open. You can kind of scoop it out. Um, or you can Google and find some fun recipes. So that is your prize and you will even actually get to enjoy it if she shares it with you <laughs> but you get like pig feet the pig feet <laughs> but you get like major major cool points for playing the edict card on the pig's feet i give you a lot of credit and that's it for this episode of eight minutes with chef mel i hope you had a good time and i hope you turn in tune in again thanks so much everybody all right you guys there you go <coughs> and you can really you can really take your dragon